Hi there, today I'm back to share the process video completing this project life layout. A couple of weeks ago I did my first process video on this project life layout showing you how I choose my cards and how I set up my layout around my photos and so on and choosing the embellishment. So I'm pretty much done the first part already as per that process video and today I'm showing you the finished product, what I do. So once I've chosen the cards and photos and got everything in place, and I sort of roughly place the embellishments around, I then start sticking things down. So nothing set in stone at this stage, it's just a you know pretty firm plan, um, but things do change as you'll see in the video along the way. So thanks to the people who have already liked and subscribed my videos, I really appreciate the support. Um, it was a big step for me to do videos and put myself out there. Uh, and I love my scrapbooking and project life, but doing videos was a whole other ball game, so to speak. So um, yeah, I really appreciate the people that have supported me so far and do welcome you to, um, you know, share with whatever forums and things you may be on so other people can see them. So here I'm just inking around the edge of the little circle die cut. just want to give it some definition and um, make it pop. Otherwise it can get lost in the um, card that's being stuck on because it's a white sort of outer background. I'm um, sorry, edge, then it really can get lost in that busy background. So just a bit of ink, a darker sort of charcoal colour that I have on my desk. And you can see I stuck the love word down on the top card. And I'm sort of just sticking major components down at this stage as I go. I'm not completing each card. How I do my process is, is different. Um, I can still use the same processes, but I apply different ones at different times. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just dicking down the major things. I'm not finishing each card. It will just depend on the card, like the um, card with the ampersand. I think that's finished. I'm sort of going through and doing a bit on each one. Sometimes I finish an entire card in its you know entirety, but others I, I move on to and just think, oh, that'll do for now, and then start on something else. And I only do that because I'm not sure what else I'm going to pop on it yet. Um, when there's a card that I know what I'm going to put on completely, then I'll just continue it and finish it. So there you can see I moved that card, the yellow journal card, a little bit. It was just a little bit crooked. And the tape runner I use um, is a little bit forgiving, which is really important. I think in a tape runner, you need to be able to move things without ripping them. I do have a big ATG, um, the big glue gun or adhesive gun but I tend not to use it so much in project life because I find it big and I love it it's you know but it's big and cumbersome for such a small area that you're working in so I'm just journaling on this card talking about um, the photo which is my dog Pepper um, sitting in the kitchen waiting for me to make her dinner which is the photo to the left I'm preparing her meat and veggies and rice that we cook her weekly and make bog lots up and Put some in the fridge and some in the fridge. That's all very exciting in our house. <laughs> the things we do. So yeah. So just documenting about that. But that's what Project Life's meant to be about. Just the, you know, it can be about big celebrations or big events or just the everyday stuff. So I'm just journaling that on there. And I'm trying to keep the cards as I work on them or write on them in shot for you. Um, it takes a bit of use to getting used to. Because the, I'm filming with my camera and it's on a frame above my workspace, once I've got it set up, I can't see, you know, what's in shop and what's, what's not. So I have to remember sort of the space on my craft mat where I'm placing it. So I'm using the um, Ranger, I think it is. Uh, it's like a dimensional magic. I always forget what it's called, but, you know, the adhesive... And it's a little bit stronger to stick wood veneer and cork and things on, so I tend to use that for those two items. I just use that for the little wood veneer. On this card, um, wonderful, I'm talking generally about the movie that I went and saw, which was the second best um, Marigold Hotel. I hadn't seen the first one, and my girlfriend asked me to go for the second one, and she was quite shocked I hadn't seen the first one. So she lent me the video, um, sorry, DVD, and we watched that, and I loved it. And then we went and saw the second one, and I loved it even more. It was so funny, and, you know, some sad parts, and it was just a really beautiful movie, so I really enjoyed that. 
I'm just documenting how my girlfriend organised a day out for us to catch up um, with another friend as well and we had a nice time. So I'm working on this bottom card and I'm getting straight into it and sticking that down. Not fussing too much, just thinking yep, that looks pretty good, happy with that. Sometimes it's best not to procrastinate too long over it. It's just me, sometimes I can be the queen of procrastination for sure, but sometimes it's just easy just to get it stuck down. I'm feeling with that there. So this little um, chalkboard die cut piece has got like an acetate film on the back because it's self-adhesive. And I think, oh, if I rip that off completely, it's going to be left sticky. So I just pull that back, cut some of the um, acetate backing off, stick it on, because I only want to use, say, like two-thirds of it. And then that enables me to cut, when I cut the excess piece off, keep the acetate on. hope that makes sense what I'm saying, just that I want to keep that little bit, even though it's tiny in my stash, or use it on the layer, which I actually end up using it on this layer, you'll see on the second page. And it allows me to keep it there without having it stick on something. So I'm using um, iMovie on my iPhone when I record this instead of on my iPhone. And then I use iMovie to trim the video where necessary, edit it, and then um, speed it up times two. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to speed it up any more than that. Um, you might be able to do that, I guess, on Windows Movie Maker or something, but because I'm doing it on my phone, only allows me to go times two. So bear with me while I perfect the process. Still means this video ends up being about 25 minutes, which is probably a bit long, and I appreciate that people don't generally like to watch movies or videos that long, but it's what I have to work with at the moment. Alright, so then I'm deciding that I need something behind that little um, f film preview shot of the movie that I saw. Behind, I need to have a card behind that because that photo is smaller than a 3x4. So I'm just going through picking out a card that will not only match but also one that I don't necessarily care if I use because there might be another one in there that I want to use at a later date. And I've just set this bit of cardstock on my top of my layout that I had to hand so that when I stick the little trimmer on top that it's not sort of sitting directly on the photos or the layout. And then I see as I'm watching the video back and I realise when I was doing the layout that I accidentally picked up the next card when I moved it away. But I realise that in a minute and pick it up. So I'm just sticking on the little photo to the back, of the you know, onto the yellow card, which I was quite happy with the yellow. It's, it needed some yellow there and it also left me provision... Um, you know, some space to journal on. That worked out well. And I'm just talking about how I went to see this movie and I loved it. Okay, about now I realise that other cards gone missing. And then I've dropped it somewhere, so find that. Yep, cool, pop that back in. And I'm just adding some more Spots of journaling around the page. The photo of my dog is the one I think I'm working on here. Yep. Pepper, our dog, um, when she gets, when her hair gets really long, we push it back from the back, or push it forward from the back, and it looks like she's got a mohawk, so <laughs> I took a photo that's quite a dark photo. But yeah, still want to capture that and just put bad hair day. And here I'm writing on this picture of the um, photo of the rosemary which is a little story about a close friend of mine um, she always tells me that rosemary is supposed to improve your memory so every time she forgets something we say oh, I better get some rosemary or I call her rosemary and I grow rosemary in my garden with lots of other herbs so I was going to see her so I decided to wrap some up in some wrapping paper and a ribbon and give it to her like a bunch of flowers and she loved it she still got it so <laughs> So I'm showing you here my enamel dots. I keep them on a ring. That's how I store them. I just find it easier to flick through them that way. And I have three rings, I think, with different colours. So there'll be some neutrals, some brights, and so on. And then I keep them in a tub 
on my desk close by because I use them in pretty much every layout. So I'm just going through and picking some with the blacks, whites and greys and some yellow so I have them out to hand. Now on that love card with the rosemary, um, it's provision for the date there and I haven't added that in. I will add that later with the date stamp. I just have um, to go through my photo library and actually check on my album will indicate to me what the dates were. But I think it was January this year, school holidays, I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe February when they've just gone back to school, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's earlier this year that I took these photos. So when I was sticking the enamel dots around the page, one fell on this photo, which seems to happen to me all the time. Just dropped it and it landed on the photo and left some adhesive on there as well. Um, and I hate that when that happens. In fact, I don't think that's happened yet, but you'll see it. <laughs> I thought that's what I was covering up, which... No, not yet. I just put um, an acetate word... I love you on there, but no, you will see later when I go put some enamel dots on, that's what happens. Here I'm deciding it just needs a little bit more of something. And I decide on this flower die cut. Just ink the edges of that and pop it up on some foam tape. And just adds that little bit of interest to the area so it's not so plain. Just going through, seeing what else I might want to stick on. Here we go, the enamel dots. I'm just putting a good mixture. I generally use three together. It just depends on what I'm doing. I've got some silver as well. I think I've mentioned earlier, or in the previous video, that... Um, I wasn't going to use gold. I think yellow, um, yellow, black and grey lend itself more to silver. That's just my personal choice though. So. Going around thinking where I want the dot, sticking some more on. And this is usually the finishing touch to lay out. There we go, dropped one there, that's where it was. Left some adhesive there, I hate that, it happens to me. Try and rub it off without damaging the photo. I could reprint the photo, but that would mean setting up my printer. And I just don't want to do it. So, right, okay, I need to find something in moustache again to stick on there that's going to cover it up without taking away from the photo, making adding too much to the photo. I'll just have a check through what I've got. Because I'm not a huge fan of stuff stuck right on the photo. or More so if it takes away from the photo, I don't like it. But I don't mind stuff being on the photo. Yellow clip, maybe. No, probably not. That wood veneer I had out the heart was really cute and that I could have got away with that. But because I've got the heart just below on the card below, that's too close. I do like repeating different embellishments, but not when it's right below or right next to. I think it looks funny. just doesn't look pleasing to the eye. Excuse me. <coughs> So I decide on these two little yellow stars, different sort of yellows, and this is where I stick the glue on my mat. And I find that's a really good tip for um, using the glue just to use your finger or touch the item in the glue and that way you can just clean up the excess rather than squeezing the glue, if it's a small item, if you squeeze the glue directly onto it, like a little star like that, it can just ooze everywhere. So it's better just to work with your finger off the mat or rub the item on the on the mat directly. Here I decide this card needs something else, just black and white, it's got no yellow, it's just nothing. So I add a little bit of yellow little ticket tab on the top there, trim off the excess, Then I decided oh, I want it over a little bit more. So I go to move it. And I think it disappears. I was having one of those days where things were just flicking everywhere, getting stuck everywhere. And sometimes you just have days like that. But 
you know, and if you do have a bad day when you're scrapping and things won't seem to go, look, some people say, look, just walk away. And sometimes I do just walk away. But generally, I will continue the page I'm working on and then say, well, right, it's this layout and then I'll pack up. I don't keep going for hours and more layouts and so on. You know, but if it's really bugging you and really getting nowhere with it, yeah, then just walk away and come back another day. A couple more dots around the place. Really getting to the finishing touches of this page. Thinking, right, yep, I'm happy with that. Just checking it all, right, moving it aside. So swapping it over with the other side of the page. Not sure if I've already mentioned um, something. Sorry if I do repeat myself because I already recorded or so I thought a 25 minute voiceover for this and then realised at the end when I was finished that I did an actual recording. It was it was saying ready to record and I hadn't actually started. So that's fantastic. So sorry if I do repeat myself. That's why because it's just in the last half hour prior to this I've already done the voiceover. So I do apologise in advance if I repeat myself. Usually when I work, I do keep the double spread on my mat in front of me and work on one side at a time, but have the other one on the other side so that I have that visual, you know, the whole, the balance of the entire spread down so that I can see everything as a whole. But because I'm filming, I need to have the layout that I'm working on in the centre of the shot so that you can see it clearly. So I move the other side just to the side of my workspace and I can just turn around and look at it when I need to. So I'm just using the Teresa Collins Tiny Word Stickers, which I love. I've got a few different brands of Tiny Word Stickers, and they're a really great addition. God, I love journaling. As much as I don't, I'm not a huge fan of my own handwriting, I think it's really important to document in your own handwriting, um, you know, for several reasons. It's You're documenting part of the story that happened and you're doing it for future generations to read, to see what you wrote and how you wrote and what your sense of humour is and what you write like and they're just things you just can't, you know, replicate by typing and that sort of thing. I do love, I'd love to have it my own typewriter, maybe one day, but yeah, I think hand handwriting is really important. But the little stickers um, add when you just want something else, a little extra, they're really great too. So I hope I'm keeping everything in shot for you. I'm trying to move things as I write or work I don't usually work on my actual layout but I'm doing that just so you can see what I'm doing this little journal spot really cute little punch circle that came with the hip kit club kit and that's a tongue twister <laughs> and um, I think it matched really well with this layout so I just pop that on there journaled straight onto it and stuck that on I did ink the edges of that just so again give a bit of definition so it doesn't get lost in that really busy background going through seeing what else I can add on I'm thinking oh that yellow star because I use the stars on the other side that's going to bring help bring that all together and match nicely so I'm happy with that and then I cut the word honestly off the little I love you quote before that I used on the other side of the page and I decide that's perfect because my dog thinks that when I go out, she can hop on my bed and I had, my bed was made, which is what I wrote on the journaling spot, is that I left home with my bed made and pillows all stacked nicely and I come home to her having rifled on my bed and pulled my bed apart um, to snuggle in and sleep where I sleep. So um, <laughs> that's, I think, worth capturing and recording when I ask her, did she do that, she walks away very um, submissive. She knows that she's not supposed to. So I, as much as I love her and she's allowed on my bed, I don't appreciate her um, hopping on my pillow and probably licking my pillow when I wasn't there, as gross as it sounds, but that's probably what she was doing. And so, you know, wanting to be near my smell, my scent. So I'm just journaling on this other card. Uh, about my son Joel making pan or pikelets and he was wanting to make we often have cooked breakfast on the weekend and uh, I can't remember if this was in the holidays or on a weekend but either way he wanted to make some pikelets and they decided the two of them that they wanted chocolate chip pikelets 
So I taught him, he's very good at reading a recipe and understands how to cook and so on, so he can mostly get everything out and get it started. I was just showing him how to gradually uh, incorporate the liquid with the flour, the dry mix, and otherwise he was right. I showed him how to serve out, what quantity to serve out into the pan so that you could cook the pikelets, but the rest he was fine with. So again, I'm just inking up the edges of that camera just to give it some definition and popping up on phone tape because it is quite a muted light grey. I don't want that to get lost um, in the background. And a little yellow tab just to add a pop of yellow. I'm just deciding how much of it I want showing. Having a play around with the rest of that little chalkboard tag I cut off earlier. And again, just thinking, well, that will fit there and it matches the other side. So I'll decide to stick that on there. Quite fiddly to get the backings off those, but once they're off, they stick on pretty well. Okay, so I'm cutting the excess off so I can use it later. Tucking that in. And just doing again what looks pleasing to my eye. Okay, this is where I'm just getting a bit more glue on the veneer to stick that on. Putting it all together, just checking if I'm happy with everything, what else it needs. Now, with the sound of the video, a couple of people said they couldn't hear me properly or they had to turn it up high so they still couldn't really hear it properly. I do apologise, but I don't know why that is because when I record it and then I play it back to check it, obviously I can hear it perfectly fine and many other people have said that they can hear it perfectly fine. So I think it may be a case of what device you're listening to it on because um, I am talking at a normal volume and then I record it and play it back. So I do apologise as I say, but it may be a case of you um, needing to listen on a different device. So I'm just getting some more of these Teresa Collins tiny word stickers again and just sticking them around where I think it needs to be on the photos and so on. Some, look, I try, sometimes I'll leave the photos plain and don't stick anything on them. Other times I think it just needs a little something so I pop something on there. I try not to think that every single card or photo has to have something added but sometimes it just looks better if I do so... It's just be happy card. I only had the speech all chosen, um, sort of chosen for that. So I decided it needs something else in the other corner. And you get a couple of tabs and flags to add to it. And another yellow paper clip. <laughs> I think I've only ever used one of those before and I end up using three or something in this layout. I, but I really like them and I think they just add that finishing touch and match this range really well. So this yellow speech bowl, I want it to go down the bottom below the word happy, but because there's a another big speech bowl, the big white one in the car directly underneath, I decide that it, it just can't go there. It looks funny. It'll be just too close for me. So that's why I put it at the top there, and I'm happier with that. So I'll mention to you in my videos these little weird things, ways or tips. Look, they may be useful to you. I hope they are. Um, it just to show you how my process goes along and my thought process. I think it's so important for you to see that I know why I do the things I do. They're not, it doesn't mean that they're the right way, the only way. It just tells you how I come to, you know, my process, how I make my decisions. So I'm just popping a little bit of bling on the camera there. It's got like a little shine line as if it were the flash of the camera. So I've just added a little bit of bling there. Sticking some more enamel dots around. You know when I'm doing that, that I'm nearly finished. Because that's um, pretty much the finishing touches. So I don't know if I've already mentioned in this video, or as I said, it was in the pre-recording, but I have sped my video up to twice the speed. And that seems to be the fastest I can get it at the moment. Um, Inclined to go three or four only because it's such a long video. 20, 25 minutes is quite long for people to watch. And I'm going to 
and being the other side in just so you can see it all together. Now I, at the end of the video I'll leave you with some stilts just so you can see the pages on their own and some close-ups. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to like and subscribe my videos and comment and people who comment I really appreciate that and try to reply back to all of you. Um, I hope you enjoy this process video and I hope you continue watching. So I just decided that um, this happy card just needed something else down the bottom. So I pulled out some yellow arrows that I had, some Studio Calico stickers and added those on. And then I'm happy. <laughs> so um, as I said, please be kind. Um, you're all wonderful, but you know, it is, it all is very new to me doing process videos and I'm an amateur, there's no doubt about it. So please, you know, do be kind. I love your comments and I love... Um, you like my videos and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.